Now, climate change is about to hit the world in the stomach, according to the United Nations. A new scientific report from the world body that examines land degradation concludes that climate change will imperil cro uh, crops and worsen hunger. Viewers Arash Arabasadi has the story. Historically high temperatures recently caused the largest monthly melt-off of ice in Greenland, an ominous foreshadowing of rising sea levels. A UN study warns that in coming years, climate change also may affect what and how much we have to eat. Despite increase in food production, an estimated 821 million people are undernourished. In general, climate change will cause declined yields, increased prices, reduced nutrition levels and uh, disruption in supply chains for food. Scientists at the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change say that man-made factors challenge the world's fragile ecosystems. Increasing impacts on land are projected in the future as a result of water scarcity, wildfire, and the permafrost story. In a warmer climate, the capacity of the land to store the carbon may be reduced. The panelists are urging an international effort to combat climate change. Limiting global warming to 1.5 or even 2 degrees will involve removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and land has a critical role to play in carbon dioxide removal. Scientists say reducing food waste and diversifying agriculture can help blunt the impact. 25 to 30 percent of food produced is lost or wasted and reducing food loss and waste can reduce pressure on land, improve food security and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. At the same time, a move to more balanced diets could help us adapt to and limit climate change. While not explicitly telling people what to eat, the panel says reducing red meat consumption in favor of plant-based foods could drop as much as 15% from current greenhouse gas emission levels by mid-century. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.